Well, there are flames on both sides of the road. Um, there was a lot of smoke. It's a narrow wooded road with tall trees on either side. And you're looking up, realizing, you know, that they could fall at any moment. It, it just didn't appear that there was any way of escape. Over the phone, I could hear the fire. I could hear the flames crackling. I mean, she actually told me goodbye. Um, she, the phone kept going out, and I would, I would wait, and I would try calling her, and she wouldn't answer. And at one point, I called her, and she said, you know, this is it. I'm not going to make it out of here. And, and she said goodbye. She could tell that I was trapped, and she kept saying, just drive, Mom, just drive. And I said, there's no driving. We're, we're trapped. I could picture, like, where she was and what was going on. You knew what road she was on? I did, actually. I, I ended up calling the police um, because I, I didn't know that anybody knew who was out there and, and because there was no cell service, really. It was very spotty, and no one had really known who was in the hospital, who was leaving the hospital, so. Well, you know, I was praying that this was impossible. I said, but Lord, you have a thousand ways when we have none. Lord, you can deliver. Only you can, but if you choose not to, please ease our passing. Okay, so your mom calls, you get in contact one more time, she says goodbye. Yeah, and then cell phone service was gone, you know. The phone hung up and I, I told them in the car, I said, you know, I just lost my mom. 